Hi friends, some things to keep in mind before you go on the basics of gate. The rule of gate is that when you are walking, right, you are trying to balance your body to move in the forward direction. And at that time, somehow one limb has to take support and the other has to propel forward. But while standing, you're standing on both the feet on the ground. So what exactly is a gait? The few words which are highlighted here is, gait is a synchronous, subconscious movement of the joints of lower limb. So it propels the body forward. Is it only the lower limb? No. It is something which is alternating movement, where both the lower limbs move, along with the trunk. Is it only the trunk? No. What adds on is, a normal person walks in a coordinated manner, taking into account his lower limb, swinging his arms, balancing his trunk. This is what is a gait. When I look at the gait, the thing that you should understand is, in a gait cycle, you are trying to transfer the body weight from one limb to the other. And when you are doing that, there is a moment when both the feet are supported on the ground. If I take 100% as total, 20% time is for the transference of this weight from one limb to the other, where both the feet are on ground together. 40% one limb is on the ground and 40% that limb is in air. I am talking about independent. So what is the gait divided into? The stance phase, where if I put my right lower limb on the ground, out of that 20%, my left lower limb also will be on the ground. So the only 40% alone, this right lower limb will be supporting the body. And similarly, when this right lower limb is in the swing, that is 40% of the gait cycle. So 60% stands, 40% is swing. What you have to understand is that 20% of the gait cycle is required to transfer the body weight from one to the other limb. If you look at the pathological gait, I am trying to teach you normal, keeping in mind the abnormal. Keep in mind that when you are walking, you have to involve the feet, the knee or the hip. If they are painful, the gait will change. Keep in mind there are muscles giving power to it. When there is a weakness, your gait will change. Keep in mind there is neurological control. If that is disturbed, the gait is disturbed. And keep in mind, there is a length phenomena. If that is altered, the gait is altered. So while understanding the normal gait, we understand four things. Pain, muscles, neural control, the length. And when we talk about what you should remember out of this talk that I'm going to take next is, we walk with the feet forward, and there is a base of the gait. We walk with a stance phase involving 60% and a swing phase involving 40%. When we walk, our average speed is about 2 to 3 miles per hour. That's about 60 to 80 meters per minute. Our average walking steps per minute, which is also called as cadence, is 80 to 110. And our average step length that we take from heel to heel is about 15 inches. You should remember that stance phase is 60% of the gait cycle. You should remember that it starts with a heel strike. Heel strike is first 2% of the gait cycle. You should remember that the foot flat completes the loading response and takes the gait cycle up to 10%. You must keep in mind the mid stance is the area when your body weight is on that limb completely and it is on the lower limb which is supporting because the other limb is in the swing phase. 
you should remember that the mid stance is followed by the terminal stance which is also the area where the single link is supporting and finally your toe will try to get away which is the last part of the stance cycle and the last 10 percent so the heel strike flat foot which is the loading response and the toe off the pre-swing phase these are 10 10 percent each and these are the areas which i spoke about 20 percent of the gait cycle is in the double support double limb support to transfer the weight from the burn side to the other side if you keep in account what i just spoke these are the images which are showing you heel strike foot flat mid stance terminal stance and then finally the toe off keeping in mind the swing the 40 percent you're trying to move ahead we'll have the initial swing which is going to talk about the limb going from the toe off coming right till the body the mid swing which is by the side of the body and crossing the body and the terminal swing where the heel is just trying to strike and complete your gait cycle so this is the swing phase the initial swing the mid swing and the terminal swing remember in human beings the center of gravity right is not within the body right because we walk on two limbs our gait is a disadvantageous gait we if chased by any animal are not able to run very quick whereas when there's an animal walking on the four limbs they are at an advantage because their center of gravity is right in the center of the body and if you look and in, peek into account the human beings their center of gravity is two inches ahead of the s2 vertebra and even during the gait this is oscillating so if this is where the center of gravity is there is a vertical movement which is occurring in this direction this vertical movement is about two inches and the highest level is in the mid stance phase when one limb is supporting the body there is also a horizontal movement of two inches which is occurring during the swing phases so two inches it goes up and down and two inches is a horizontal movement which is an accepted movement while a person is walking remember when i transfer my body weight onto a limb there is a rocker the rocker is the rocker bottom where a child has a toy where it rocks on so if i imagine how my feet will rock when i strike the heel the first rocker is at the heel having a plantigrade movement the second rocker is my tibia trying to cup, come ahead and transferring the body ahead and the third rocker is when the heel is trying to get up so these are the three rockers on which you get up so that's how it moves so if i show you like this on the heel strike is the first rocker second rocker the tibia moves ahead and the third rocker the heel comes up these are the rockers that you should remember in the next talk the next week that we will have we will be talking to you about the kinematics of the gait where these things will be discussed more but this is just to give you a glimpse how the limb weight or the body weight is transferred from the one limb to the other so these are the rockers which i spoke about first rocker is the ankle plantar flexus the second rocker is the tibia moving ahead and the third rocker is again the ankle plantar flexus and trying to reel the trying to take the heel off the ground so these are the things which you will be observing in the video that follows next which is about 8 minutes thank you very much